August Cahirlock and Falcha Rivenara. August so on August Urum Takuleshan Mila Show. Um, I'm really very pleased to, on behalf of the Fianna Fáil group in the Shannad, to uh, welcome and support this bill. It is a very important uh, piece of legislation. Uh, the bill provides for Irish water to be separated from air via and to allow it to act as a standalone national authority for water services. Um, this uh, develops on, obviously, the commitment in the programme for government to retain Irish water in public ownership, something that my own party um, are, have campaigned for and are, are very committed to, um, to retain it as a public uh, utility, as a national standalone regulated uh, public utility. And uh, this act... Um, you know, it, it ensures that any acts carried out uh, will be in the best uh, public interest. And we all recognise, I suppose, that water is an essential public service, and as such, retaining it within public control is of the utmost importance, uh, not just to my party, but I think to um, all, all parties in the House and to the, the general public. But it, I suppose from our perspective, um, this builds on our commitment as a party to improve water services. Um, we obviously supported the €6 billion Euros in funding that has been committed to in the National Development Plan uh, for water services. And I, I think it is important to note as well and to pay tribute to all those who are delivering water services that uh, the lowest level of vulnerable water supply uh, connections was recorded in February of this year. And I think that's some achievement um, and all those involved in the delivery of water services are to be commended, particularly if you consider we're coming out of two years of a pandemic. Um, so separating Irish water from Ervia is in the best strategic interests of both water services and gas networks businesses. It should allow for full transparency and accountability of our water services. Um, and I welcome the indication from you, Minister, that the separation will be achieved uh, early next year and that government is working to achieve that. And I hope the House can facilitate the passing of the legislation. I'd like to acknowledge as well the strong cooperation uh, that was provided in the Joint Oireachtas Committee on Housing um, for the scrutiny of the legislation and the work that was done by that committee, by the Chair and all of the Secretariat. Um, they provide an invaluable service to us. Um, Ishka Erin will stand accountable and uh, will take full responsibility for the delivery of public water services. I particularly uh, like the fact that we will have one accountable public utility and Ishka Erin is a very appropriate uh, name for it. It, in turn, will be accountable uh, to the Oireachtas. It will be accountable to the uh, Committee of Public Accounts. And, the, you know, the, the Oireachtas will ensure, through the uh, Public Accounts Committee, that uh, Ishka Erin delivers customer-centred, customer-focused, user-focused uh, services, and will also ensure that uh, there's value for money for the taxpayers. As such, Ishka Erin will be subject to parliamentary scrutiny, and it will have to present its accounts to the minister, who will obviously then in turn lay them before both houses of the Oireachtas, which again gives both houses of the Oireachtas the opportunity to scrutinise the performance of um, Ishka Erin and to hold it to, to account. And these are really welcome developments, and I think absolutely appropriate for a public uh, utility. Um, government obviously uh, will appoint through the Minister uh, the board and directors and uh, that will be done through the Minister for Housing and Local Government um, but there will also be consent required for the Minister uh, for Public Expenditure and Reform. And the Minister will have the ability to remove a director if that director is either incapable due to ill health um, or engages in behaviour which is inappropriate uh, for a director of such a public, an important public utility. The directors themselves will have a limit of two years, and I think that's really a, a, a good idea. I think it promotes fresh ideas. Um, it promotes enthusiasm and energy uh, around the role of being a, a director. Um, and the fact that there will be a transfer of staff um, that's very important, I suppose, that we don't lose that knowledge, we don't lose that 
um, institutional experience uh, and knowledge. And when I talk about staff, I, I want to really acknowledge, I suppose, from the city of Dublin, um, Dublin City Council's staff. I was a city councillor myself when Irish Water was set up. I have to admit in this house that I opposed it vehemently. Um, I had very serious questions about the transfer of the assets um, from the local authority. Uh, there have absolutely been issues around the delivery of services, um, water services, quality of water services. I, you know, things come, places come to mind for me, like Cabra, the water pressure, and, and, and other areas within my own constituency. But I wouldn't let today's debate go by without paying credit uh, to all of the staff um, of my own local authority in Dublin City, but all local authorities um, who have provided really excellent service down through the decades. Um, a really important aspect of the bill um, that maybe others may not have noticed is that uh, the bill is quite progressive in that it requires gender parity and um, in, in terms of uh, the makeup uh, of the organisation and the board. And, and I think that it is really welcome that the Minister under this legislation, insofar as is practical obviously, will endeavour to ensure that among the directors of Ishk Erin there's an equitable balance between men and women. Um, and, I, and I think that is a really welcome uh, development and it's one that I'd like to see replicated in any future uh, public uh, bodies being established by either this government or other governance, governments. Um, uh, I, I, I suppose to summarise then, um, you know, this bill does set out a path of accountability and transparency for Ishka Aaron. Um, Critically, it keeps it in public ownership. You mentioned in your speech that the Minister for Housing intends bringing a memo to government um, uh, with recommendations around a referendum on water and also a referendum on the right to housing. As you'll know yourself, Minister, I believe you've been in the House when we've debated the referendum on housing and, the, and uh, it is a matter that myself and my party are committed to. I'm delighted to hear that the Minister feels he will be in a position to bring memos uh, to government on both of these issues um, before the end of this year. That is very welcome and we look forward to government, my party at least looks forward to government, um, approving uh, those memos and moving forward then and bringing these two really important questions uh, to the people of Ireland. Gormagath.